Well, today me and Rooster, we're picking strawberries. Brown's Berry Farm, Miller, Missouri. There's a nice one. It's a bit of a drive getting here, but pretty good, pretty good berries. Not bad picking. We're just getting started. Whoops, I got back up. I skipped some. I was not quite ready. Kind of like these handy dandy box carriers we got. It's a little muddy. Well, I think I got all the berries I that my back and legs can handle. Rooster's still going at it. We've come quite a ways down through here. Of course, we didn't even get halfway. <laughs> so, there's still some over there. I said, I think I got about all I can handle right now. Yeah, one more. All right. I think they got blackberries too. I'll wait and see when those are ready. Somebody's ready to eat. Yeah. You don't care about this YouTube video business. He wants to eat. So. We're going to feed him. Here we go. Well. Well, Butch eats. I got update y'all on some stuff mostly we didn't get it on video but I'll tell you why towards the end here anyway last uh, Friday about 7 o'clock get a call from the guy that I substitute bus drive for and uh, he's got a calf that's been abandoned so uh, wants to know if we're interested in trying to save it so we go over and get it and bring it home and uh, it's you know we could tell it wasn't in very good shape as it just laid around and uh, well, we made every effort especially Rhonda and well it didn't work out we lost him yesterday morning and you know that's the way things go and I didn't get any video of it 
for that reason because we didn't know if it was going to make it or not so and you know we had to feed it for a while with a with a feeding tube and i know that would have been some informational video but it just it just didn't feel we should put that calf on, on out into the public sphere so anyway we had that disappointment and just as i'm walking out here to, to feed butch Rhonda has informed me that we lost one of the new chickens we bought. Uh, I, I won't buy chickens from those people again. Not so much because that one died. It's just when I got them home and I made the mistake of not looking at them. I just had them put them in the cage and I beat feet home. So It's my fault. I'm not going to bad mouth the people. But I won't buy chickens from them anymore. Uh, they all would lo had lost hair and, you know, not hair, but feathers. And they just didn't look all that healthy. And, you know, it's been almost two weeks. I don't think they're laying yet. And they were supposed to be laying already. So, all right, Butch. That's all. All gone. I think he eats too fast. He gets a little bit of a down the wrong pipe. But anyway, we still got Butch. He's still doing good. And I'm sure as you see earlier in the video. Okay, yeah. As you saw earlier in the video. Uh, me and my nephew Rooster went and picked some strawberries today. And uh, that was an adventure. <laughs> No, it was a guy. I had a good time visiting with old rooster and you know, picking strawberries. Even though kind of hard on the old back and legs. I'm <laughs> not used to bending over like that. But anyway, it was worth it. Not complaining, just saying. Uh, like I said, I got about, well, I got 10 pounds worth of strawberries and uh, he got 11 for mom my mom his grandma and uh, anyway it's a good time but here's the reason why rooster went and not mom get to her house and She's uh, in her bedroom with the door shut. And I hear her talking to somebody. Well, I thought she was on the phone with somebody. But anyway, the door cracked a little bit. And I asked her how she's doing. And my sister came out. Well, then mom came out. She said, well... I, uh, I fell and hurt my back and side here. And, you know, it wasn't constant pain. It's just every once in a while she'd move a certain way or something. She said, I'm not going to go pick strawberries. Maybe rooster will go. And uh, so... I got to talking to her, and you know, I can tell she had pretty bad pain. You know, mom's a tough old gal, but you know, sometimes things just hurt too bad. So she decided before we got gone that she was going to have my sister take her to the hospital, get checked out to the one of these express care clinics, and uh. While we were waiting to uh, get checked out at the uh, berry farm, got a got a uh, message 
from Rooster's mom that my mom had bro broke six ribs. And <laughs> at first, I misunderstood what she said. I thought she said that uh, she had fell over her dog, which her dog's a big old boy. He probably weighs 75, 80 pounds. And he sleeps next to her bed. But come to find out, she didn't trip over him. I'm still not sure whether she lost her balance or slipped. I don't know, but she hit her side on the... I don't know, Dad built this bed for she 30 maybe 40 years ago I don't know but anyway it's got like a tuba six that sticks up and that's what she hit it's kind of like a post or you know a headboard or something so anyway that's kitty I want this little booger done out here but Anyway, little things. So, back to the story. So that's what she hit her side on, broke her ribs. So, it's been an eventful few days, to say the least.